a much greater degree than an RPG like Skyrim, Mountain Blade Warband does a good job of capturing what it's like to go from a relative nobody to a big shot in a medieval world. At least it does if you can get past the outdated graphics and sometimes disappointing controls. Warband looked like an old game even when it first came out on PC in 2010, and now it often looks positively awful on consoles. Character models look janky and robotic, and environments lose almost all the scant detail they have beyond a few yards. Yet its other elements do a good job of making up for all that ugliness. For one, there's a huge variety of starting backgrounds you can choose along with skill proficiencies, in-game jobs, and gameplay approaches. Its sandbox attitude can be off-putting, and at first, there's very little direction given, and the world generally goes on about its business without you. There's no voice acting, you'll always have to read. And it's always tough, with death happening easily, and often in the first hours. <laughs> Choosing to start as a noble, rather than a peasant, naturally makes forging alliances and diplomatic talks easier, but that's as close to easy mode as Mountain Blade gets. Eventually, you'll need your titular warband to get ahead in the world, or just to clear out bandits for cash. They're basically mercenaries hanging around towns that you can hire, train, and mold into an army for conquest. Winning a battle with them can be great fun, because few games get the feel of medieval combat so right. However, using the D-pad and a menu to issue orders gets cumbersome. In fact, controls are a general letdown. For instance, many movements share the same mapping as other commands. So when you find yourself trying for an overhead slash with the right joystick, you'll find the camera also shifts upward to the sky. Thankfully, an option to automatically decide the best strike removes most of these worries, along with the depth they provide. That's a good trade-off, as it makes the already fun 32-player multiplayer battles more enjoyable. There's great variety in the eight modes, including Siege, in which players storm a castle and take it over by raising a flag in the courtyard, or a dueling mode and two takes on deathmatch. You just have to ignore a lot of those graphical and control issues to really enjoy it. For more on Mountain Blade, stick with IGN.